Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are at VidCon looking at the Monster High pop-up kind of experience, I guess. I brought along my creep production at Frankie Stein doll, so guys, let's go look at this booth and see what it has to offer. Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? I'm the owner of this house. The entire booth was very ooky spooky and I really was like in the mood for Halloween looking at this. It didn't feel like the original reboot which was super colorful. Just the all around aesthetic was really like giving me dead looks high school kind of vibes and I was really here for it. To start your journey at Monster High, you have to go through the graveyard and this portal I guess is going to be how Claudine transfers from the human world and to the monster world. All right, welcome to Monster High. Come right in. So as you enter the portal, you are greeted with some music from the Monster High movie. I am going to be making an exact replica of this video with the music playing. I just want to avoid copyright strikes on the main vlog. As you look around, you can see there's pictures on the wall along with this TV that is playing a music video from the Monster High movie. It's the song that we've been hearing in all the teasers. I believe it's going to be called Out of the Dark or something. But here's a little clip of it and some music just so we can hear what it sounds like. I have uploaded these to Instagram and TikTok just in case you guys want to watch it there. But again, I am also going to be uploading a non voiceover version of this video right after this upload. So make sure to tap that in the description. But in the music video, you can see all three ghouls have their own little section and they're doing their dances. Frankie had a very weird dance and a lot of people were clocking her on it. But I think it's because she's like trying to pretend she's like a Frankenstein, but um, I don't think she's going to actually walk and talk like that. Right when you get in, you have to stand in line so you can get your very own Monster High ID. I chose staff because I'm ancient, obviously. And just as you're about to enter the hallways, it says, welcome back, monsters. Now, in the second room, you can see we are now in the hallways. There are some coffin lockers, and here are some more little signs. This one says they were the football champions in 1974. Now, I'm not sure if this is how the school is actually going to look. It's very wooden, which was a little off to me, but the coffin lockers kind of reminded me, again, of the Dead Looks High School. There were three open lockers and two closed ones. The first one, I believe, belongs to Cleveland. Leo, you can see she has a hieroglyphics book and some Egyptian jewelry and makeup. And below that we have a brain and what looks like a Deuce's hoodie, which could be a good sign for clues. And this is kind of random. It's just, you know, journal and rubber bands, nothing special. And then there is a quiz that you'll see later. If we move on to the next locker, it seems to belong to Heat. We have a football, a fire extinguisher, and a varsity jacket, along with some other accessories and backpack. The other ones were just closed. You could not open them. And this one, I believe, belongs to deuce due to the snake skin everything basically i really wanted to steal that hat it was really solid high key once you finish the hallways it is time to move on to claudine's bedroom and there's a lot of stuff in here in this room they were also playing another song i'm gonna guess it's called the three of us there's like a little salon chair and a very interesting kind of like doctor's like bed thingy there's a trunk that has some accessories a big cauldron that they were kind of putting like fog things in seating area that has a picture of dracula and there's claudine's bed and that was just a little snippet of the song that i'm guessing is called the three of us because i kept saying it of course i had to put frankie down just for a second because you know i gotta film sh now my question is is this her bedroom in monster high in the, like the monster universe or is this her bedroom in the human world because if so why does she have a picture of dracula in her bedroom that's a little sus it's good to know that claudine is a plant gay just like all of us gays we are lovers of plants and she has them literally everywhere i even wanted to do this so like okay claudine i see you i see you her bed just needs a little bit of pizzazz and it'd be cute so um yeah. And now that we've looked at Claudine's bedroom, we are now going to go into the classroom. And as you can see, we have a classroom. Like, we have a skeleton. It seems like this might be mad science class. And there are some illustrations on the wall. And in this room, we have another song, which is very anti-human. It's making me wonder if the teacher is the villain of this movie because he's kind of teaching them to, like, hate humans. And, you know, I mean, did he lie? Like, literally. Why did he have a guitar, too, is what I'm curious about. But, yeah, here's a clip of that song. <laughs>
Claudine in this music video made me laugh because she's just like, let me just join along. I don't know the choreo. And she's like literally flopping on the table. I'm like me if I was in a movie that like bursted into a musical randomly. This song is kind of catchy as well. I feel like all three songs I heard were very catchy. They were kind of reminding me of Descendants and High, and High School Musical combined a little bit. I haven't seen Nickelodeon do a musical since 2009 with Spectacular. Let me know in the comments if you remember that movie because it was kind of weird. But so far, I'm not mad with the music. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the songs. And of course, you know, watch the full video with the music down below if you want to hear the song. In the classroom, there is a little test you can do. And there are also these little trading cards that you can take. If you finish the test and turn it into the teacher, he will give you a sash and you can write your name and test score on the blackboard. Of course, I wrote my username, of course. Listen, free promo is free promo and I will take whatever I can. Here's the trading cards in their package. I will show you these at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Like I mentioned earlier, this school is very wooden. Like, it feels like Abraham Lincoln may have built this and I wouldn't be surprised if he's the founder of Monster High either. Anyways, once you're done with your test, you turn it in and get your sash. Um, each color is on the test, so whatever one you chose is what you're gonna get. I am gonna go and try to get all three of them so yeah i'm greedy i don't care and guys that is pretty much the end of our little monster high experience so let me show you what i got from this little booth shall i hi <laughs> okay guys so this is everything i got from the monster high the movie kind of like little experience at vidcon i'm gonna walk you through everything i got and tell you what i missed because i did miss something so first things first you get this a little id i'm probably gonna get another one that says student just so you know i have two <laughs> but yeah that's that's my picture it's it's eh. and then once you go into the bedroom you will see that there is free teeth that come in this cute little container i kind of want to get another one just because I like the container. And right next to it is this tinsel hair extension. I'm probably going to use this if I ever need to reroot a doll with tinsel, but um, yeah, cute, I guess. And then once you move to the classroom and you do your test, these little trading cards were on the table and you could grab them. A lot of people just weren't grabbing them for whatever reason. And I'm going to open them and show you what's inside. So first we have Blood Goods card, and this is what the back of her card says. Next we have Doja, I mean Laguna. And down here it's says she does have a mermaid style and she likes iridescent. So they've completely changed Laguna like 100%. So I don't even know what's going to happen with her. I feel like she's more of a mermaid type fish now than, you know, whatever she was prior. Next we have Deuce and here is the back of his cord. Next we have Claudine's card and here is the back of hers. Next we have Draculaura and I'm going to be honest, I think Draculaura is the best character that translated in live action and in the animated series. I think they just did her really well. This is what the back of her card says and for everyone saying, oh no, she's a witch now i'm like no she's a vampire that dapples in sorcery here is frankie's card with that very weird pose i really don't know why they made her do that i love the shoes though and here is the back of her because she's a preppy punk so interesting then we have cleo's card i noticed none of them have the last names, so i think they kind of just ditched the last names and now it's just like their first names her card is so basic it literally says her abilities there's a question mark so that's interesting then we have heath um i don't like how his character design looks i think it's kind of lazy but yeah then we have the teacher Como's. yeah he's kind of cute let's be real <laughs> here's his about me and last but not least here is the high school because you know the high school is a living thing according to the back of the card yeah the cards was a cute little idea it kind of lets you get introduced to the characters so they're probably going to have all this stuff at comic-con as well and once you finish your test you get a sash and i obviously chose the blue one because i love blue and it's my favorite color we all know this by now it says nickelodeon's monster high the movie and if you flip it around there is the new monster high crest they removed the bow i feel like it's to make it feel Feel more gender neutral I guess and it's really soft it's like made of like a like it's not real silk obviously but it's like that satiny silk feeling it's really nice it's kind of heavy too I really want to get the other three colors that I'm missing just so I could have all four and display it um we'll see if I do that if not oh well fingers crossed I can anyways guys so that was my monster high vidcon experience I am going to go to the booth every day until you know vidcon's over obviously but also I'm very excited for Saturday I was invited by Mattel to go to the booth and meet the cast. I'm very excited for that. So, um, can't wait to do that. 
We're going to probably post a video of that as well in the main VidCon blog, of course. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, let me know down below your thoughts on this Monster High pop-up down below. Also, let me know your thoughts on the reboot. Please keep in mind that everyone's opinion is valid. Don't bicker at each other because you guys are all grown adults and we shouldn't be fighting online over dolls. Like, let's be real. Anyways, guys, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And I would love you to join the channel. If you aren't, also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. It's at ZombieXCorn as well. And guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.